Hi everyone, welcome back to our Python 0 to Hero series. In the last video, we installed Python and wrote our first Hello World program. And honestly speaking, that single line made you officially a coder. <laughs> so now that you have said hello to the world, let's actually talk about what Python really is. So what is Python? Let me explain this by writing. So. Python is a programming language. Yes, Python is basically a programming language, which means it it's a way to talk to your computer. Just like we speak English or Hindi, Python speaks to your machine in code. Clear? That's why it, it's used by companies like Google, Netflix, Instagram, basically everyone who's cool <laughs> yes every cool people in the world use python remember this and the best part you don't need to memorize a scary syntax uh, python literally reads like normal sentences yes it was created by uh, giordo van rossum in 1991 if i am pronouncing it wrong please correct me in the comment section yes giordo van rossum in 1991 let me write it Yes, G U I Gudo Van R O S S U N. Yes, Gudo Van Rossum in 1991. It was created by this person in 1991, and uh, and it is totally a myth that it is named uh, after a snake. No, actually, it's not named after a snake. It's actually named after Monty Python's Flying Circus. Yes, a British comedy show. It was named after that. See, Python is famous because it's simple, readable, and powerful. Yes, the Python is very powerful. It is very powerful. Remember this. Yes, Python is basically used for everything from websites, AI, data science, and even robots. So, I guess Python is clear for you. What is Python? and who developed it and after whose name it is named as python yes so let's now discuss about uh, discuss about python file extension yes python uh, file extension yes what is python file extension let's talk about this yes please uh, let me talk about this python file extension is basically we can say dot um, py yes mm -hmm. dot py we have used yesterday right and uh, one more kind is there that dot py w sorry dot py w so now let's talk about something important that is dot py when you when we save a python file okay it's usually ends with dot py that's like your file's last name example yesterday in the last video we have used hello dot py remember that p dot py is file extension yes it's just like giving your code a name tag saying hey i am python <laughs> right it's just a name tag yes telling the code that uh, i am a python Yes, exactly. That's why we uh, give file extension. Code should know what extension is this. That's why we use dot .py. It is clear. What is like uh, in like when we save a file, every file last name should be dot .py. Let's talk about next thing. Let's uh, clear this and move this a little bit higher. Let's talk about linting linting and formatting yes formatting linting and formatting okay okay so what do you understand by linting uh, no it's not about removing lint from your clothes literally it is not about that linting sounds fancy right it's basically your codes spell checker Linting is what? Spell checker. Yes. Sorry. Spell mistake. Please ignore it. 
yes spell checker right if it checks uh, if your code looks clean consistent and error free and uh, yes that is linting and uh, what is formatting formatting that's just making your code look nice linting is uh, basically a spell checker in your code and uh, formatting is uh, that checks uh, that uh, you, that checks whether your code is looking nice or not because trust me messy code is like bad handwriting in your school nobody wants to read that okay it's clear yes let's see the live example in the hello world code which we have discussed in the last video see vs code automatically highlights uh, these mistakes that's linting in action yes you can also install tools like compilint or flake it for even better feedback yes let's see what is indentation yes for example if i write if true right and if i print hello yes one is this let's check what it is showing let's run this see an error comes see the error is indicating indentation error indentation error what indentation is spacing proper indentation is super important in python remember this a proper it's how python knows what belongs to what so the difference is the correct indentation is just uh, yes print hello see the difference yes no lint uh, here linting is there in the code and here the code is running fine let me run this okay for that i have to remove this let me clear this and see now yes see hello python word and hello it's there so it is clear what is indentation spacing spacing is super important in python it's how python knows what belongs to what if you don't give the space wrong indentation then it will show this error indentation error okay so every time you hit run python reads your code line by line it's like reading a storybook yes it's a read line by line so indentation is very important spacing is very important so let's talk about uh, one more thing how python executes right executes code sorry for a little bit inconvenience in writing just ignore this yes so what how do ever think how python executes code might be this is a question in your head let me clear this yes let's uh, also talk about how, how python codes actually execute yes python doesn't talk directly to our computer when we run our code python doesn't just read it remember this it's first compiles it into byte code just like a secret re recipe which we cannot see then the python interpreter also called the python virtual machine pvm reads that recipe and actually cooks it into a result so your computer basically goes got it was let's make this happen yes exactly first uh, it compiles it into a byte code then python interpreter read that byte code and then the computer gives the result this is the cycle which is going on and we cannot see the byte code we only just see uh, the we write the code and then it converts into byte code and that's how computer reads what we have written there yes let me give you the small graph your code yes uh, that should be saved in python dot python extension yes and below this i guess wait wait wait, wait. arrow next is python interpreter 
what is Python interpreter? It's convert our code into bytecode. Yes, bytecode. So bytecode is saved in which extension? Let me write this. That was something dot pyc. Yes, and after this, mm, computer executes it. So it's clear for you guys or not? See, first we write the code and save this in dot uh, .py. Then the interpreter convert your code into bytecode, and the and it is saved in dot .pyc. Then the computer executes it. So Python acts like a translator between you and your computer. Pretty smart, right? Yes, there's not just one Python. There are multiple Python implementations like C Python, the default one. Yes, and uh, Python for Java lovers. Don't worry about them now. We will meet them later in the series, like surprise guest. Yes. Now. Yes. Now. Uh, remember our first program from the last video print hello python word but what's really happening here yes today's bonus is <laughs> in the last video we discussed this uh, print hello python word and I told you that I will tell you what this print means ever wondered what it actually does why we are using this print here well print is python's way of talking to you the word print is actually a function in a Python. Yes, it is actually a function in the Python. It takes whatever you give it inside the bracket, word, numbers, even emojis. Just try this at your end. Yes, you can try this. Whatever you write there, word, number, even emojis, it will take it and show it on your screen. So basically print is your best friend forever for communication with the computer. Next time. You write print imagine you are politely asking python to speak something on your screen exactly this is printers so today you learned what python is and uh, how it runs your code what extension it uses and why formatting is important in the next video we will dive deeper into python syntax we will actually start writing more codes and explore variables basically where your data lives in python word yes variables a very important discussion will be there on variables we will start in the next video so don't forget to like share and subscribe for more fun coding lessons with me like this only have a great day bye